Hey guys, Gaming Techie here at Thenic, and we got another unboxing coming your way. And what do we have today? Well, a bunch of months ago, the Oculus Rift was released, and it is a fantastic headset with a lot of cool functionality, and I still think it's probably based on its exclusives and its easy to set up -ness, that it's probably one of the best uh, VR headsets on the market. But it was missing one major thing. The controls. It came with an Xbox One controller, which was fine, but um, wasn't exactly ideal for people wanting to really get immersed in the VR world. So today I'll be unboxing the Oculus Touch controllers, hopefully. And guess what? I got a box cutter. You guys would be so proud of me. You're going to be so proud. Ugh, it's plastic on it. Yeah, so let's get this thing popped open. Oculus Touch. Now, I actually used the Oculus Rift significantly more than I expected. When I first got it, I figured, you know, it was going to be a novelty product. I had to try it because it was new tech, but I didn't think I would use it that much. And then I ended up using it a ton. I beat multiple games on it, including my favorite, which is... Kronos, which was really, really, really good. Um, really great game and uh, really immersive, even though it had a horrible ending. No spoilers. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to playing a bunch of new games with this. And one of the great things about the touch controllers is while they're expensive, um, they actually come with a bunch of games, another sensor, uh, and the controllers, obviously. Uh, so here's the box. Again, Oculus has a very premium box feel. If you look at my unboxing of the Rift, you'll see that. Um, it's very premium. Also drinking the Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada Celebration. It's their fresh hop beer. Very good. Very good. So, alright. Without any further ado, let's get going. The one thing that Oculus is still missing is full room scale, like the Vive has. It, basically, it allows the device to see from all the different angles uh, of the room and it kind of gives you an actual space to be in. Um, you, there is an experimental um, Oculus Rift uh, third sensor that you can set up which I've ordered so I'll give a review on that um, but for the most part it basically just helps the controllers get seen better and not get lost when you're turning around ducking for cover or whatever you're going to be doing with the game. Uh, okay so again the box took off the sleeve. Uh, let's see what it see. All right. And here we go, the inside of the box. Really, again, really nice packaging. I know like people don't care about packaging, but I don't know. It's it's kind of cool. It has a little box up top here that I'm opening now, which contains something. I don't know what it contains. Yeah, there it goes. Um, this piece, which I believe is for Rock Band VR. So I don't know if I'm going to get that. Uh, two AA batteries. Yeah, one of the unfortunate parts about this device, and you know, I haven't seen people really complaining about it, is um, the fact that it doesn't come with rechargeable batteries. I know some people like to have the AA's, but I don't know. I really like I like being able to recharge and not even having to buy more AA's. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Apparently they have very good battery life. Next up is the additional sensor, which you'll need for the controllers. Pretty nice, same as the other sensor. And again, like I said, uh, I'm getting a third sensor, so we'll see if that enhances the experience at all. And then last but definitely not least is the actual touch controllers themselves. Ooh, pretty. And you know what they have? They really have a great, they have a fantastic feel in your hands. I didn't expect it to be. I have pretty big hands and it they still fit nicely in there. Here's the second one. Really like a good feel. They feel a little bit maybe when you're holding the trigger. The triggers feel great, really good. Both the hold trigger, which is here, and the sh I guess the shoot trigger, which would be here. Uh, they just they feel fantastic. And with the wrist straps, I won't worry about throwing it through a wall because it kind of a little bit feels like they might slip out of your hands if you use wrong. So there you go. That is the unboxing of the Oculus Touch. Oh, one more thing actually. Everyone keeps raving about the battery draw. For the freaking for these touch controllers, that it's the best battery draw ever, and I'm like, what the heck does that mean? A good battery draw, like it's kind of crazy. Oh, it is pretty awesome. 